I think it's going to work now. Hi, Dad. Look. Hello, man, sir. What's this? I invented something for Nano to make him be able to throw the tennis ball. I'll attach this device here onto Nano, and then Nano can throw the balls, and then I will Master, be able to... Master, your father has to go to the airport. He'll be late if you keep talking to him. How are you feeling, Nano? Excited. Oh, look, Dad. I attached a device to Nano. It fits. Um... Very good, Mansur. I'll try it in the garden right now. You should come and see it with me. Mansur, what did I tell you? That if I talk to Dad, he'll be late for work. Then let him go. You can show him Nano when he's back. The plane won't fly itself to Australia. Actually, when I activate autopilot, the plane will... Oh, uh, um, no, I mean, yes, it obviously won't fly by itself. <laughs> Did you do it? Hi, guys. Just about to test it, actually. <laughs> Mancer, are you ready? Ready! Great! And go! <laughs> oh! Now, I'll get you all a drink. Uh. <gasps> oh, no! Your dad's briefcase! Looks like you're in trouble, man, sir. If you didn't distract your dad by talking to him, he wouldn't have forgotten it. Don't worry, Mom. Let me fix this. He can't have gone too far. I'll call him and tell him to come back and take it. Huh? Oh, oh my god. We're definitely going to be in trouble. Everything he needs is inside the briefcase. His passport, his wallet, and his phone, too. What are we going to do now? Hmm. Uh? We have to drop it off. <laughs> Come on.
he should be in. But that gate is so far away. Gate it's on the other side. Move. Come on, let's go. Uh, 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 I can't, I can't. Enough. I'm tired. Um. No, Abbey. Come here, get on this. What? Get on this trolley and we'll help you. Guard one speaking, this is airport security. Uh, the kids are playing with a trolley, I repeat. They are playing with a trolley. I will stop them now. Here we go. until I confirm your story. Huh? Airport security, I arrested the three kids. Two of them are skinny, and the third one is fat. Uh, mm. And we were so close, too. I have an idea. <laughs> Neno, throw this ball. Where do I throw it? My dad's way. But he might get hurt. Don't worry, Nano. Come on, throw it. Hello, everybody. Oh, I forgot my briefcase. Oh. What was that? Hey! Dad! Dad! Look! Hello! Hey, hey, stop! Dad, Dad, Dad! You forgot your briefcase! Oh, thank you, guys. What is going uh, on here? Nothing's going on here. I got distracted at home before leaving, and I forgot my briefcase. But my son got together with his friends and made sure it arrived here on time. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I owe these boys. Without them, I would have been in real trouble. Mm, uh, of course, of course. Uh, yes, of course. It's my pleasure to help. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I have to say, great hint, man, sir. <laughs> <laughs>
Abra Kadabra. What's wrong, Obey? Magic is a bit scary, but it's not real silly. No. No. How about I make him wear it? <laughs> For my final illusion, I introduce Boy Becomes Rabbit. I need three uh -huh. volunteers. <gasps> you, you, yeah. and you. Come on, Obaid. Uh -huh. You stay with me. Can you two please check that box carefully? Make sure it is empty and has no hidden compartment. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Uh -huh. Thank you. Now please return to your seats and watch closely. Will you please get into the box and sit down? Abra Kadabra! Huh? Oh, well done. <laughs> you were great. Yes. You disappeared superbly. All I did was fall down, but really? I didn't expect to see you here, Grandpa. Well, I like to help out at the school when I can, and besides, Ja'afar is an old friend after all. I've got to get back up there. <laughs> Are you okay with handling the trap door? Absolutely. <laughs> huh? And now, I will make the box and the rabbit disappear. All right, stand back, Menser. Don't let him get away. Look out. Where did Mancher go? I'm sure he's waiting for us, maybe at the entrance. I got you. Huh? Everything all right, my friend? <laughs> yes, why? Uh. Ah, Flopsy. I'm sure you were messing around with them. Hmm. Hmm? Uh, we have to clean the place up before we leave. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. Mansur and I will take care of this mess. You can go. Thank you both for your help. It's been a great pleasure. We couldn't have done the show without you. See you again, old friend. Did anyone see Mansur? Huh? Ah. Hi, Shama. Hi, boys. Where's Mansur? We don't know. He disappeared after the magician turned him into a rabbit. Hmm. Ah. Maybe the magician forgot to turn him back into a boy. <laughs> Excuse me, but I have to go now. I'll see you later. <gasps> Solemn, I figured it out. I think Mansour was turned into a rabbit. Uh, I don't think so, Bade. The magician didn't actually turn Mansour in. Uh -huh. hey, well, I thought. Oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, the show was spectacular. Uh -huh. Remember when I played the role of the evil magician and you were my creepy assistant? <laughs> uh, now, do you believe me, Solon? Look, the magician and his partner are proud of what they did to Mansoor. Look, there he is. What? Where? There. In the little cage. Don't be ridiculous. He's being kidnapped. Obeyed. <laughs> 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 Run! Hey, come back! Give me back the rabbit. Someone catch him. Huh? 
Your friends, they ran off with my rabbit. What do I do? What? No way! Obed and Salem wouldn't take something that's not theirs. But I saw them. Please help me now. I need my rabbit back. Please help me. Flopsy is like family to me. I will. I'll help you. Go and get that rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Obaid? You don't actually think this is Mansur, do you? Yes! I'm sure it's Mansur. Look at his face! Uh... Seems like their phones are off. But we can get some help from Nano. Hello, Mansur. Hello, Nano. Can you fly over to Obaid's house and Salem's house and see if they're there? Of course. Nano is my personal assistant, and he's a robot who can fly. I invented him. That's really incredible. You have a flying robot? People think my magic tricks are clever, but with your intelligence, you managed to invent a flying robot. Obeyed? Let's take the rabbit back to the school. No, I'm going to try and turn him back into a boy. What? Hmm. Ha! Ah. Mansoor! 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 He isn't turning back! You don't say. We have to go back to the magician so we can turn him back to normal! Mansoor! Salem is not home yet! Thanks, Nano! Can you try Obey's house next? Of course! Hi, Shama! Have you seen Obey and Salem? They took the magician's rabbit and ran off. What? Oh, I remember now. When I saw them leaving school, they told me about the magic trick. Although I was just joking, I told them that the magician turned you into a rabbit. I think Obeid actually might have believed me. No, surely they didn't believe I turned you into a rabbit. Obeid definitely, definitely would. Mansoor. I didn't find them at Obeyed's house either. Thank you, Nano. You should just go home now. Hey, you! Hello. Is that Flopsy? His name is Mansoor. Now fix this. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I need you to take me to Jafar so we can turn this rabbit back into my good friend Mansoor. Hmm. Hmm. Hello? Jafar? It seems the game is up. I'm with two boys who have Flopsy, I mean, um, Mansoor, Mansoor. Uh, and they demand you turn him back into a boy now. Yes, yes, see you soon. Okay, the great Jafar has agreed. Come on, let's go to your friend's house. Hmm? I beg you, please turn Mansoor back into a boy. He's not fun like this. Please, Mr. Jafar, can you help? Abra, Kadabra! Mansoor, you're back! Hi, Obeyed! Tell me, what was it like being a rabbit? Um, it was fun for a little bit, but I prefer being a boy. Are you, are you happy being back in your normal body? All right, then, keep your eye on this. Enough! Turn it back before he melts! Abra Kadabra! It's okay, Obe, don't worry. It's fun turning into lots of different things. You should try it sometime. Oh. Here. I'm very sorry for all the trouble I've caused. No, of course not. It was not troublesome at all. Yep, this one will be one of our favorite stories. Obeyed. Look, it's Mansoor. <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> come, come, Mansoor. Come here, little baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
the zoo close? Are we there yet? Yes, we're almost there, Obey. Don't worry, I'm using my new sat-nav. Mansoor, there's a new reptile exhibition at the zoo, and they have an anaconda that's 20 feet long. I know, and I can't wait to see it. In 50 meters, turn right. Hmm. This doesn't feel right. Mansoor, huh? look at the sky. Huh? What's that? Huh? What's this? Where are we? Where's the city? Mm. What does this mean? It means uh. I need a new sat-nav. Ah! Ah! The windshield needs a little cleaning. That's a good idea, Mansoor. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like the snake's not giving up and it's gaining on us. Faster, Grandpa! Hold on, boys. This is going to get bumpy. <laughs> Obey, make sure to keep your seatbelt fastened. What's going on? What? We're flying? You're never going to believe this. Look there. I'm not really enjoying this new zoo experience. It's way too interactive. You know, I don't think this is the zoo. Salem, look. Oh, no! I'm not sure I want to find out what the main course is. You think it's a snake or us? I'll hit the horn. No, wait. What if he drops us? Oh, right. Ah! 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 Looks like we're safe now. I don't like this. That egg over there is moving. There's something in there. <laughs> Just a wild guess here, Obeyed. But it's probably a bird. Baby birds are hungry when they first hatch, aren't they? We have to get out of this nest! It's too heavy. We're falling. Hold on to something, boys! <laughs> what now? Huh, Grandpa? We have to put some distance between us and that giant bird. He might come back here. This place looks old. This place looks really old. Mansoor, what kind of place is this? I think the question we should be asking is, when exactly are we? Wait, what do you mean? Well, I think we just came through a time portal. We're out of gas. Maybe they have some. Hmm, let's hope the people are friendlier than the animals around here. What is that? Is that a steel chariot with no horses? Amazing. <clears throat> Excuse me, but we're a little lost. We were looking for the zoo when we... when we... You're looking for the zoo? I've never heard of a zoo before. Grandpa, uh. I really don't think zoos have been invented in this period. Where are you from? Well, it's a very long story, but we could really use your help. Sure. Nazar al Tuzi will know what to do. That's right, that's right. He's the cleverest man in all of Arabia. And chief scientist to the Sultan himself. Follow me. Hmm, I can't think of a better idea. All right, lead the way, please. Oh, hello, Abdul. How may I be of service? These strangers arrived a short while ago and need help. I'm in the middle of a rather delicate experiment right now. The inn can host them. Plenty of food and lodgings. If you'll excuse me. Please wait! What? I don't understand. Who are you? I am Mansoor, and we have come from the future. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Please, make yourselves at home. Well, I suppose I should have realized this might happen someday, but I guess I never expected it to actually work. What do you mean? This. It's taken me almost 10 years to construct it. It's time. We can measure it, however, we cannot ever change it. Time flows into the future, just as a river flows to the sea. Yet we can divert water. We can change its course, even pump it back uphill. I have been working on a special project. I have invented a way to manipulate time with the device you see here. Is that a time pump? That's right! This machine functions by pulling the future toward the present until they meet up. 
And you were working on the machine today, correct? That's right. And I fear I may have brought you here. I aimed my machine out there, out to the empty desert, trying to avoid such a thing. But in the future, the town is much bigger. It's a city, a very large city. Ah, of course. Yes, I didn't consider town expansion. Okay, so then can you just zap us back to the future? Sorry, I'm afraid not. <laughs> the machine stopped working in the middle of my experiment. I have been unable to fix it. Does that mean we're trapped here? <gasps> it's the vortex! It's still in the sky! Do you have a spyglass? It's our city! I can see it! Huh? Your machine created this vortex in the sky, an opening into the future. Looks like we'll have to go back through it. Mansoor, look, it's shrinking. There's not a second to lose. If we don't go back to the vortex now, we might be trapped here forever. The future must be an incredible place. You move around without horses, you say? That's right but it does need fuel to function. And that won't be invented for another 300 years, more or less. Fuel? But we have lots of fuel for you. Thank you so much. But we actually require a very different kind of fuel to drive. And Sor, maybe we can walk back through. What do you think? No, I don't think there's enough time. We need something faster. <laughs> It's the Rook! Run for your lives! What do we do now? Remember, the Rook brought us here. Maybe it could take us back. I think it's worth a try. Hmm, I think I have an idea. Ready? Ready! It's coming back! Here it comes! I wish you good luck, my little friend. Thank you! I wish we had more time to get to share ideas, Nasser. We must be satisfied with the little time we got, Mansoor. <laughs> I sure learned my lesson, didn't I? <laughs> 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 to lead the rock directly to the vortex. Nano, it's up to you. Get us home. Yes, we'll do, Manzo. to get some fuel. Just wait here by the car. Sure thing, Grandpa. It's still only 11 o'clock. It's like we never even left. That means we still have plenty of time to go to the zoo. Uh-uh, no way. I've had enough of giant snakes for one day. Uh, how about some ice cream instead? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
I can't wait to have a game with my special World Cup edition football. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, be careful with it. Oh, sorry, but if you're worried about your precious ball, maybe it's better if we, uh, I don't know, don't kick it around at all. Uh... Oh, no way! It can't be! Don't worry. The city has opened up a new football field in the park. Let's head over there! do is move uh, towards... Oh, I've got this, okay? I do not need your advice. I can do this! No! My ball! Oh, no! Uh, I'm sorry! <laughs> that was a nice one, Obeyed. <laughs> Whoa! Do you see how bad this garden looks? But where's my ball? I don't know, but it could take us hours to find it. Well then, start looking. Come on, start looking now. I can't look around their garden without permission. What if the owners find me while searching their yard? There aren't any owners. This house is clearly abandoned. Salem and I will go and make sure that no one's inside now. Good idea, thank you. Hey, climb up higher and see if you can see the ball. Mm, I still can't see. I can't see you. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Thankfully, this grass broke my ball. Well, since you're there, can you find my ball? Okay. I found something. What? This? Really? Just keep looking for my ball. I'm sure there's no one living here. But it's best that we check. Look! Hmm. Huh. You make a tasty snack for me tonight. Uh, uh, what was that all about? I don't know, but we need to tell Obeyed and Turkey to get off that wall. Turkey! Where's Obeyed? Looking for my ball. We must get him out. The house isn't abandoned. Really? We just saw someone go inside. Yeah. Someone creepy! Obeyed! Obeyed! Hey! No luck on finding your ball just yet, but I did find this thing! Shh! Don't worry! No, he's gone again! What are we gonna do? Salem and I will go and ring the doorbell. Uh, we will? Yeah, we have to! It will distract whoever's inside the house! What am I gonna do then? Get Obeyed out of the garden, of course! Okay, we'll just ring the doorbell and we'll calmly explain we accidentally kicked the ball into the garden. Ready? Not really. Wait, look! Ah! Uh, we need to go. This house is zoomed to oasis. Who is this? Uh, la, la, la. Let's get out of here. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, obeyed. Oh! I think I found your ball. Oh! Huh? Oh! Where's Obeyed? He's still in the garden. I 
can't seem to get his attention. We've got to get out of here. Why? This is a dangerous place. It's Umduwaze's house. Huh? But who's that? <sighs> She's an evil woman who tempts people with nice cooking smells. She traps them and eats them. Just look! Uh, obeyed! Huh? What? I can't hear from down here. Shh! Just come... Come back here! I can't just yet. I'm looking for Turkey's ball. Don't worry about my ball. First you wanted me to find your soccer ball. And now you want me to forget about it? I wish you'd make up your mind. Just come here! Okay, okay, I'm coming already. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, that smells so good. It's delicious. <laughs> Obey, no! <laughs> huh? It smells great. I'm um, two ways to go bait inside. Uh, what are we gonna do? We rescue him. <laughs> oh no, that doesn't sound good. Hold on! I've got an idea! Uh. Huh? Obey! Are you okay? Oh. Yeah! Why wouldn't I be okay? We heard a loud crash! Oh! I dropped a glass! <laughs> and what are y'all wearing? Uh, it's for protection! Protection from what? Uh -huh. Protection from that! I'm going to eat you! I'm going to eat you! I'm going to eat you all while I drink my delicious coffee! Oh, hello. Welcome. Would you like some dates? I just picked them fresh from my garden. Oh, thank you. I've <laughs> been living abroad for a couple of years. And your friend here kindly offered to help me tidy up my very messy garden. Yes, and in return, <laughs> I'm going to get some delicious biryani. These are my closest friends, Mansoor, Turkey, and Salim. And this lady is my new friend, Mrs. Om Darwish. Huh? Yes. But the sign in front of the house says Um Dewey's. No, it says Um Darwish, but it's so covered in dust it probably does look a little bit like Um Dewey's. Well, how about we help by fixing the mess out in the garden? And then we'll sit and enjoy the delicious biryani. Mmm, mmm. It truly looks marvelous. Now please come inside and enjoy some food. Here you go, boys. Thank you so much for all your help. <laughs> I bet you're glad I kicked your football over the fence now, aren't you, Turkey? <laughs> Welcome to Scotland, home of the Loch Ness Monster. 
Huh? Did you say monster? Oh, yes. It lives right out there in the water, you see. Uh, it is what he's saying true? I'm not sure. Nano, tell us about the Loch Ness Monster. The Loch Ness Monster is reported to be a prehistoric sea creature living right here. Yes, that's her. There's nothing to worry about, Obeyed. It's just a legend. Now then, who would like to go fishing? Yes, me! I'd like to! <laughs> yeah, me too. Let's go fishing in monster-infested water. You know what, guys? I think I'll stay here. It's probably a bit safer. Here, take these. You can look out for the monster. This too. <laughs> Blow this if you get into any trouble. It should help you out. Thank you. Okay, you three, follow me. We'll see you later, Obeyed. Hmm. Relax, Alum. There's no monster here. <laughs> I'm relaxed, really relaxed. There's nothing to be nervous about. <laughs> huh? Nothing. If you ask me, I think we'll be here all day without a bite. Guys, one at a time. Mansoor? We saw the Loch Ness Monster! And so did I! Huh? <laughs> I can explain. Look! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind me tricking you boys. No cause for alarm. It's just a bit of fun for the tourists. I made it myself, actually. You really tricked us. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it couldn't be a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you did. Sal. But I did sure see the did. real thing. Honest. No, Obeyed. It's just make-believe. 
No, no, I'm not talking about the fake one over there where you guys were. I'm talking about the real Loch Ness monster that was just over that way. Look! <laughs> That's a tree obeyed. Yeah, the real monster was by it. I swear. And what was it like? Um. <laughs> quite friendly, actually. That's good news. So you won't mind coming back out fishing with us? Nope. I don't mind at all. With any luck, I might catch your monster, Obeyed. Yeah, you wish. You'll need a bigger rod than that. Obey, can you see it? No, not at the moment. That's because <laughs> it's not real. No, it's very real. I'll prove it to you guys. Watch. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. <gasps> Nano, scan the water and tell us what's coming towards us. You got it, bad sir. <laughs> huh? It's only a log. <laughs> <laughs> That's your monster obeyed? A log? No. <gasps> huh? Oh, this is my monster. Stand back. It could be dangerous. <laughs> or maybe not. What's happening? Nano, what exactly is it? It's okay. Don't be scared. It's just Nano. Unidentified and unknown species. There is nothing in my database. Oh. Thank you, Nano. You, 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 you mean tell me that th that thing is the real Loch Ness Monster? Yup. And I'm the one who found him. Like fun. That was amazing. I saw the monster. Yes, you did, Obeyed. You did. <laughs> yeah. No way. Whoa. You are not going <laughs> to believe what just happened. And you're not gonna believe what happened out there. <laughs> <laughs> Catch anything? Mm, yeah, sort of. <laughs> oh, -ho. all right then. Well, I'm sure you'll tell us when you're ready. I'm really sorry that we doubted you, Obeyed. Oh no, it's okay. At least we believe you now. But who'll believe us? Honestly, even I'm not sure if I believe it. <laughs> <laughs>
Kerinci Sablat is one of the largest national parks in Indonesia. The park was once home to the majestic Sumatran rhino, sadly now extinct. But the park still has other animals, like tapirs, clouded leopards, and also sun bears. And of course, let us not also forget the hundreds of types of bird species here, and also our closest living relative, the majestic primates. Also out there in the jungle are some of the largest and most ferocious animals in Asia, <gasps> like the powerful Sumatran elephant and the Sumatran tiger. But some say that there is a creature in the jungle far stronger than any elephant and fiercer than any tiger. The beast is known as Orang Pendek. It means short person in Indonesian, but don't be fooled, for it is an extremely misleading name. And all we know is that no one who has seen it has lived to tell the tale. Don't worry, you two. It's just a story after all. Did you see that? It was a cream striped bulbul. Quick, watch this man soar. Oh, yeah? How about you try this? Okay, I'll try it out then. <laughs> Come on, guys, we should catch up with the others. So where are the others? Uh, maybe uh, the tiger got them. Or maybe even worse, the orang pendek got them. A tiger hasn't gotten them, and the orang pendek's a myth. There's no way. It's not real, you guys. <gasps> we must have taken the wrong path, so let's go back. <laughs> I'm not going back there. There's no point. There's no way forward. We have to go back. Uh, we could stay here. Why not? It looks uh, nice enough. Are you crazy? We can't just stay here, you know? We go back there, we'll be tiger food. Or even worse, or rank pendek food. Wait a minute, I think I see something. M -m 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 -mansor! The orang pendek probably got him. Oh, come on. I'm sure he's just fine. Look at this! Amazing! Filled with... Gold! Lost temples always have gold! But I was gonna say snakes! Let's go! No way, guys! It's the perfect time to go exploring! And look for the gold! Oh. What kind of ape is this? Chimpanzee? Hmm, gorilla? Impossible, because there are no gorillas or chimps in Indonesia, only orangutans. Whatever it is, it looks pretty real. And what's with that color? <gasps> Did you see that? What? That statue just winked at me. What do you mean, Obeid? Hold on, that's not a statue. Uh, what is it then? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 
from his legend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll be famous for finding him. For sure. We will definitely be on TV. We present Obeyed and his best friend, Orang Pendek. <laughs> yeah, no way. It'll be more like Turkey and the Lost Temple of Orang Pendek. Hey, hang on. What about, what about, uh, Salem saves the day? Yeah, right. And which day did you save exactly? Hey, come on. We need to find the group, you guys. <laughs> oh, wow! Uh, it seems quite high. With this view, it would definitely be in my movie. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Hmm? Huh? 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 <laughs> this is awesome! Huh. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we get back. Let's go! Mensor! Oh, you guys are all safe! Hey, Dad! Ah, oh, thank goodness. So, how did you find your way back? Well, it's an amazing story. You won't believe it. Huh? Uh, we followed the setting sun. No, we didn't. Tell him. Yes, we did. Uh, uh, oh, oh, right. Hmm. Right. You must be starving. Come on, let's go eat. You didn't tell your father about Orang Pendek? But we were gonna be famous! If we say anything about our encounter, this jungle will be full of people looking for him. And then they will put him in a zoo and he won't be free anymore. I think it's better that we keep our secret. <laughs> Bye. Okay, you're right, Mansoor. Yeah, he's right.
Crash and Grandpa's drunk! <laughs> Covered with soap. You'll need us to wash you too. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Who here would like a drink? <laughs> so solemn. Did you wash the soap off your face? Help yourselves. Gather around. <laughs> the car looks very clean. You've done an outstanding job. <laughs> As a thank you, I would like to pay you the participation fees for the Junior Biathlon. That's great, Grandpa. But we don't know anything about this race. Oh, but you have all the information you'll need. It's right in front of you. Look. The Junior Biathlon, which consists of the running race followed by a cycling race in the Ramal Stadium, and it's sponsored by a charitable foundation and will start next weekend. Guys, we have to take part in this. This is the best opportunity to test our fitness level, you know? And raise money for charity too, you guys. And for me to win a medal, of course. Oh yeah? Not if I win a medal by beating you to first place. I don't think so. I expect my fitness is a whole lot better than yours is. But I have the brains to go with it. Fitness beats intelligence. No, strategy beats fitness. You will need both, in fact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nano, please download all the information you can get me on the competition and the best strategy we can use. Downloading now. You know what? We need to train, too. Yeah, you're right. I want us to finish in the top 10. Yeah. Or the top 20. The top 25 or top 30 would be swell. I just want to finish in the top 40 at least, you know? We'll be top 50 without a doubt. Even the top 60 would be fine. We just can't come in last. Come on, let's go. <laughs> the key to successful racing is strategy. Don't feel the need to take an early lead. Stay balanced all race long. I'm going to beat Turkey. <laughs> I don't even feel tired. Then Sora will see. He doesn't stand a chance. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh. <laughs> How are your training sessions going, Mansoor? Does your butt hurt from sitting all day? They're going well. I learned all about successful race strategies and how to win. Good for you, I mean that. Actually, I learned how to run and cycle properly. I wasn't just sitting around the house watching videos, you see. I've been searching for the best strategy to utilize so that I can win the race and rub it in your well, face. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You're not gonna beat me. Guys, tell me, how's your training going? My training's been going very well. I've been running, cycling, and studying race strategy all day long. I Can even you pass started... me the water, please? <sighs> How about I tell you a short story huh? about an apple, huh? an orange, and a strawberry? The apple was only concerned with the right mind, and the orange was only concerned about a healthy body. But the strawberry wanted the right mind in a healthy body. So what did he do? He trained and developed mm -hmm. both. You only have a few more days of training left. Use them wisely, children. now I'm ready I'm totally ready uh, 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 
Welcome to the Junior Biathlon. The race will begin shortly. Athletes, get ready. Make your way to the start line. And will the spectators please offer their support? These strong athletes need all of your support, so please give them a round of applause. OK. We are finally ready. Uh-huh. We start with two laps on foot, followed by two on bikes. OK, everyone, on your marks, get set, athletes, and go! Yeah! yeah. And they're off. Look at them go. Runner number 12 takes an early lead. This is so much fun. Uh, yeah. I love my new trainers. Me too. They're so comfy. And they help us run really fast. Well, maybe not that fast. <laughs> well, at least you're comfy. One lap of running to go. Contestant number 12 is still out in the lead and is going at a tremendous pace. Here come the rest of the runners doing their best to keep up. Contestant number 12 is going extremely fast. He is about to lap the two last athletes. Did you hear that? Turkey is going to lap the last two runners. I feel sorry for those guys. Uh, poor them. We're losers, right? Hi, Obeyed. Hi, Salem. Good race. Oh, no. It's us they meant. Hurry up, Obeyed. We can't let anyone else take over us like he did. He's lapped them. He's lapped them. He's really fast. I can barely see him fly by. You never keep up that pace. Turkey's got wings. Contestant number 12 has completed his run and is now mounting his bike. A second to take on some water, and he's off again. And here we go. Most of the contestants are now just reaching their bicycles to cycle two more laps. There are no losers in this race except the athlete to come in last. But you gotta respect their willingness to keep on keeping on, don't ya? A great way to spend the afternoon, isn't it, folks? Two contestants no! are just finishing their Not running again! race as contestant number 12 begins his final lap cycling like I've never seen before. Obeyed and Salem put on their safety helmets and get on their bikes. Oh, it's nice to sit down after all that running. <laughs> it's busy around here. The chasing pack is getting closer and closer to contestant 12. Is he beginning to struggle? Did he use all his energy up too soon at the start of the race? Contestant number eight has played this so well. He strategically paced himself, maintaining his fitness till the end of the race. All he has to do now is power through to the finish line. Contestant number 10 is getting tired and slowing down too. Will he be overtaken? We'll just have to see, folks. He had the strategy, but he didn't have the power. What will happen now? Look on the outer lane. Here comes sprint finish from contestant number three very quickly. This is getting close, folks. Extremely close. What a race. What great athletes. What great drama. What a day. We almost have our winner. Will he make it? They're so close. Almost there. Another lap to go. Well done, cousin. Well done. I mean, you were just great. You really had the best strategy and managed to strike the right balance between body and mind for this race. Thank you. You were going so fast at the end, Shama. I'm really sorry for not taking you seriously because in the end, I should have listened to you.
Today, a special experiment. Oh. You're going to learn about a unique rapid expansion chemical. Watch carefully. Ah. Whoa. Huh? Wow. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. This? Huh? Oh. This is very strong stuff. Two drops is all you really need, students. Whoa! Ooh. Now it's your turn to perform the experiment. All right, back to your seats, guys. Hooray! <laughs> Goggles on, everyone. Safety first. Put some chemical Y in your test tubes over the burner. Now, everyone, mm -hmm. take two <gasps> drops of chemical X <laughs> and put them in the test tube as well. Obeyed! Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. It was an accident. Obeyed! You must respect chemicals and follow the rules. Hey, class is over. Now, everyone, return all chemicals to the front. Have good weekend, students. Mm -hmm. okay. Achoo! Huh? Yeah, yeah. Hello, the three of you. How's it going, Grandpa? So, tell me, you all have a good day at school? Yeah, we sure did. In science class, we got to perform an experiment where we doubled the size of one chemical by adding mm -hmm. another one. But then Obeyed managed to even triple its size because he accidentally added way too much. Mm hmm? Obeyed, shame you didn't bring that chemical here. You could have made this cookie bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it was so very tasty, and I'm so very hungry. Wait, sir, wait. More cookies. More cookies, please. Hey, everyone. If you'd like, you can put all your bags inside. Sure. That'd be great. Let's go. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what's that I hear? Porridge. Smells delicious. Tastes delicious as well. Who wants to try some? What is that? How'd it get in there? Here you are, Obeyed. Uh, thank you. Um, mm, this is good. I wish there was more. Uh, Obeyed. Huh? Shame you didn't bring that chemical here. You could have made this all a bigger. One drop. Uh, achoo! Oh! Mm. You guys are going to love my experiment. <gasps> Obey! What have you done? Hmm? Obeyed! How many drops did you put in? Uh, maybe two? Mm -mm. Or four? How many? Obeyed! Obeyed! Quickly, go and turn the heat off! Let's get out of here! This isn't going to end well! Everything all right, dear? Uh, uh, huh? Huh? What's that sound? What's happening? Oh, oh my goodness! Oh! What's happening here? Lovely party we're having, but I don't know that we have enough porridge. <gasps> oh no! How can this get any worse? There! That's huh? how! Huh? Here we are, coming to you live from a garden party where the biggest batch of porridge ever on record is coming out of this house and threatens to take over the city in a matter of minutes. We have no idea how this happened or when it will end, and we have no clue when it will stop. Mmm, and it sure does smell nice. Mansoor, 
Obeyed. Salam. Is there something you want to tell me about what's on the news? I noticed one bottle of Chemical X was missing. Uh, oh, sir. It was an accident. It just fell into my bag and... Oh, I'm sure. And how did it end up in the porch? Uh, I poured it in myself, and I mean all of it. Obeyed. How can you possibly be so reckless? I only wanted to make enough for everyone. I didn't mean for all of this to happen. I had good intentions. Have you turned off the heat? No, we tried that, but couldn't get anywhere near the stove. Well, it's going to keep on growing if we don't get in there and turn it off. Uh, maybe we could reverse the expansion with another chemical and add a cooling agent. Hmm, mm. yes, that's possible, mm -hmm. in theory. Nano, can you send the chemical equation for expansion reversal reactions? Consider it done. Thank you, Nano. Oh, look at this! I think we can do that. But we gotta go to the school's laboratory. Let's go! Let's rock. Okay, chemical Y, expanding agent. Huh. Reducing agent, cooling agent. Woo! Hey, 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 we've done it! A reducing compound, right? With a cooling agent, too. We're geniuses! Good work, <laughs> let's get going. The porridge is still spreading. The garden walls are containing it, but they can't hold it back forever. <laughs> Whoa, excuse us! Move out of the way! Hey, were you able to come up with a chemical to shrink the porridge? Ooh. We need to quickly get this chemical into the pot for it to be successful. How are we going to do that? I will eat my way to the middle of the house. <laughs> Quiet. That's just stupid. Mm. Um, I got it. We can use Nano to fly up there and drop it down. Mm. Nano, get to Shama's house immediately. This is an emergency. Nano, top of the house, sprinkle it all over the porch. Center it up. No! Nano! <gasps> what are we going to do now? This is the only other one left. But I still have no idea how we're going to get into the kitchen. Um, huh. Do you want an exclusive story? You bet, kid. Well then, I need you to get me into that. This is News 9 Live from Above the Porridge Disaster. I'm here with Mansoor, who is friends with the owner of the house. He has created a special chemical compound that should make the gooey mess shrink in a matter of seconds. He's getting ready now to attempt his heroic task. Safety vest on. Check, sir. Helmet. On tight, sir. Snorkel and goggles. Snug as a bug, sir. Shrinking chemical. Got it. OK, I'm going in. This is the big moment, everyone. He's jumping out. Very tense moments as Mansoor gets into position. Mansoor has dropped into the porridge. This brave and fearless young man will be battling his way into the epicenter of the house to release the chemical. This is very risky. Will he do it? It's working. The porridge is shrinking and the city's safe. And now it's time for the weather with Tom. Back to the studio. Yeah! Yeah! You're alive! Way to go, Mansoor. Obeyed. Will you do the catering? I'm having a party <laughs> soon. <laughs> <laughs> Nano, I'm glad you made it out okay. Right? No porridge in my circuits. Thank you. Well obeyed. I hope you've learned your lesson. I, I sure did. I'm not to play around with chemicals, no matter what happens. My bad. Quick, Mansoor, drink this. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, you do. Come on, no, I don't. Yes, you do. Every time you buy a drink like that, you spill it and cause some kind of disaster. Is that so? Yeah, it's so. Name one time that's happened. Hmm, let me think. Hmm? Finally! <laughs> <laughs> or what about that other time? You just press it, and we will win the National Mathematics Cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and how could we forget that one time you... <laughs> of course, there's that other time when... I can keep going if you want. Okay, but well, come on, really? Just look at where we are right now. We're in a solar and hydropower town where everything's connected. Everything's computerized, even the cars. Nothing can ever go wrong here. It's basically perfect. Let's just go have fun. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. Boys, hop in. Let us go for a ride. Careful with the drink. Huh. Huh? Uh? Huh. My name is Wassel. I am the first of a brand new generation of smart cars. And today, I am now going to take you on a short tour of Eco Town. Huh? Whoa! Wassel! Is somebody controlling you from a command center? All the smart cars in Ecotown are connected through a central server, but every car drives itself. We're 100% automated down to our processing. You're pretty impressive. I am powered by solar energy, plus capable of driving and talking. My main interface is the control panel that is located right in front of you. It senses smoke, temperature, human touch, and smells. <laughs> it sounds like the only thing you're missing is a social media page with selfies. <laughs> I already have one. Now smile. Oh. Oh, you're gonna <laughs> spill it. Watch, you're gonna spill it and something bad's oh. gonna happen. We are. Uh, 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 uh. Wassel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, something's not right. Take it one car at a time. I will steal this technology and then dump a self-destruct virus into the system. It will set them back years while I profit from their hard work. Mansoor, what's going on? I'm trying to fix it. Fix it faster, Mansoor, or we'll slam straight into that wall. What? Huh? What? Overrule! Overrule! That was a close one. <laughs> ah. 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 <laughs> hey, boys. Thanks, Mansoor. I'll take over the drive now. Oh, no. Oh, boy. This is so much fun. It's been ages since they let me drive. I wonder why. A 
Bait, what are you drinking? What is that? Is it really good? <laughs> I'm just curious. Yeah, it's my favorite. Really? It is mine too. I love strawberries. Yeah, with everything. With ice cream, with juice, yogurt, with jelly, and slushies too. Smoothies. You can't get away from me. And I will show you. Ha! So can I? What? Have a little bit. Huh? Just a little bit. Uh, oh, please. Uh, Pretty please. Mansoor? Keep him busy. I think I found the brakes. Ugh, forget the brakes. We need to get out of here. This isn't an accident. There must be someone behind this. Nano, are all of the cars operating on the same network? Yes. But they've all been hacked, right? Right. Trace the signal so we can find out where it's coming from. No problem. That's great. Okay, now we know where we need to go. Figure out how to get there. Strawberry smoothie. What is that with it? Vanilla? Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. Wow. Hey, guys, you're going to have to sample this smoothie. Ah. delectable. What I wouldn't give for another. Those strawberry smoothies are delicious food for my circuitry. I know where to get one, but we just need to do something first. It's not working. I'd better get out of here. No? No! No! <laughs> Let me out! Let me out of here! No! 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 Technology is for everyone. You can't steal it. Now let's go find some strawberry smoothies for Wassel. <laughs> and for everyone else. Are you ready to go fishing? I'm so ready. 
I'm ready too. I'm gonna catch the biggest fish ever. Where's Obeid? He better not make us late. He made it! He's here! Hey there, guys! Hmm? Uh-huh. What? <laughs> mm. What's that on your head? It's my lucky headwear. <laughs> <laughs> what makes your headwear lucky? Just is. I bet it's going to help me catch more fish than you've ever seen. <laughs> you know it's just headwear, Obeid. No, this headwear is lucky, and I'm going to prove it. Huh? huh? Uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. It's very oh, lucky. Huh? Oh. I think you'll agree with me now that you've seen it. My headwear really is lucky. I bet the machine is broken. You can believe what you like. I know it's because my headwear is truly uh, lucky. Uh, uh, can I try your headwear, please? Mm, okay, oh. I guess you can, but make it quick. Uh. Hey! I'm in need of some luck, too. <gasps> wow! I can't believe I won. I've never seen anyone beat that machine before. The headwear is lucky. Obeyed was telling the truth. My Ooh. turn now. Now, what do I want to be lucky with today? So, there's no such thing um, as... I what? just won a quad bike! What? I entered a competition a few weeks ago. Thanks to this lucky headwear, they just told me I've won. Play. We have another turn with it. Wait, I haven't finished with it yet. How many quad bikes do you need? Oh. Let go, let go already. You let go, stop. I'm Enough, hey, it. hey, stop it. You're going to damage it. Stop it, guys. Lucky hats don't exist, you know. But you saw what just happened to all of us. I know, but good luck comes from hard work and making the most of opportunities. It's not from something you wear on your head. Mm. Give it back to Obey mm. so he can go and catch lots of fish. Yeah. I really want to make the most out of the fishing trip with my lucky headwear. Huh? We can get it. What? We climb it. Uh, I knew it. It's much higher than it looked from down there. Whoa! Okay, guys, on the count of three, let go and we'll drop right on top of that canopy. One, two, three! Why didn't you let go? It's too far! No, it's not! And one, and two, drop! Hello, Mansoor. Where are the others? They're chasing a seagull who swooped in and stole Obey's lucky headwear. Well, that means more fish for us to catch then. Mm. Come on, let's get going. Oh. 
Jump up and grab the headwear on the count of three. Okay, ready? One, two, three! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, we're never going to catch the seagull. Hello, boys. Hey, guys. Uh -huh. Oh, hello. How's your afternoon? It's not as good as yours, I'm sure. Uh -huh. You haven't caught the seagull yet? No. Come on, let's go and get you boys uh -huh. something to drink. What's wrong with the machine? Terrible malfunction. It's been giving away free soda all day. You see? It was the faulty machine, not Lucky Headwear. But what about the toy machine? Is that faulty too? No, that works fine. I put it on the easy level every now and again. <gasps> Maybe the Gafia really isn't lucky. What about the message I received, telling me I'd won the competition? Yeah, that message arrived just after you put the headwear on. A coincidence. Well, I don't think... Uh huh? Oh, uh, It's just told me to ignore the last message about winning. It was sent in error. I didn't win. The whole operation was a scam and there were never any real prizes. Well, that's the final bit of proof. That headwear wasn't lucky after all. <gasps> uh -huh. Hey! Uh -huh. Give me back uh -huh. my headwear! Why do you even want it back, Obeyed? It was a gift from my grandfather. I don't know how I'm ever going to get it back now. Hmm. Obeyed, do you still have that coin the soda machine gave you earlier? Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. We got the headwear back, but unfortunately, we didn't get any fish. Well, we yeah. got loads of fish, and we'll need some help eating everything. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, can we help you with that? Of course. Who else am I going to ask to help us with all of this? Come on, let's go and eat all this delicious fish. <laughs> I promise we'll be so much help. Yeah, you won't believe how hungry, I, I mean, how helpful we'll be. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! 
What do you want? I'm very busy preparing for my meeting at the coffee plantation. The internet says that there are Komodo dragons on the island. Is that really true? Do you think we'll spot one? Huh? No. No, Komodo dragons are on the island of Komodo, man. But... Next you'll be saying there are Komodo dragons on all of Indonesia's 18,307 islands. Go away now. I'm busy as you can obviously see. Don't bother no, me. No, but on Flores it says that there are... I haven't got time for this man, sir. The mark for my report on the coffee production of Flores goes in my permanent record. <sighs> While we were landing, one of the indicator lights came on. I'm gonna have to stay here and supervise the repairs. Dad, you promised that we would hang out. I know, man, sir. I really am sorry. But you know, safety always comes first. Anyway, Nasser will look after you. But I have important work to do. Don't worry, the boys won't cause you any trouble. Will you now, boys? No, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> you bet we won't. Trouble? Us? Really? <laughs> you can trust us, Dad. Really. All right, fine then, whatever. Come on, let's go. Yay! Hello, everyone. Welcome to Indonesia. Hop in. <laughs> <laughs> hurry, hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> all right, we're all settled in here, and okay. I gotta say, it's really nice huh. around here. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Right now! Allow me. Boys, would you like me to show you the other side of the island? Yes, Ooh, that'd be awesome. yes that would be awesome! <laughs> Turkey, as you've been the most sensible, you can stay and be my assistant. What do you say? <laughs> but, um... I well... know. I know, it's a great honor. No need to thank me. <sighs> a great honor indeed. <laughs> All right, boys, I'll pick you up later. Have fun, see ya. Bye! Bye. Well, come mm. on, then. <laughs> this should be fun. Hmm. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Uh, hey, guys, did you hear that? What? Hmm? Huh? 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 Uh... Uh, the rustling! No, I only <laughs> hear the sound of your knees knocking. <laughs> <laughs> and your teeth chattering. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Is that a... Komodo dragon? Yes, run! <laughs> I told you there was something! Quick, get up that tree! <laughs> Coffee is one of Arabia's great gifts to humanity. Yes, yeah, sure. Oh, NASA! Selfie time! Do. We have to wait. Doesn't look like that Komodo dragon is going anywhere. Nano will get rid of him. <laughs> Nano, do you think you can distract that Komodo dragon? Of course, Mansur. 
Commencing Komodo Dragon distraction routines immediately! growing on the bushes. These beans may not look like much, but once they are turned into coffee, they become one of the most precious commodities on Earth. Dragon. <gasps> it's probably the same Komodo dragon that my family has been having trouble with. We once had four water buffalo who would happily graze on our rice paddy. Then one disappeared and we could only find three for a while. A week or so later, only two. And now we only have one left. And it's so nervous and scared that it no longer makes milk. I have an idea on how to fix this Komodo dragon problem. We'll do this. One hundred meters. Seventy-five meters. Fifty meters. I see it. Twenty-five meters. Fifteen, ten meters, run! <laughs> no! I think everyone should be able to hear that Komodo dragon coming now. Ah! There's that nasty Komodo dragon again! Get out! <laughs> <laughs> All the different flavors come from the type, the soil, and the roasting process. Sure, but, but, uh, Nasser. It really is quite fascinating. The range of flavors is almost endless. And that is before we even discuss the afterbrew additives like caramel and vanilla. <laughs> Guys, you would not believe just how close Nasser came to being eaten by a Komodo dragon. Really? Yeah, it was crazy. About this close. We also huh? got pretty close to one, but we didn't run away. <laughs> Actually, you wouldn't believe it, but we saved the family's farm from a Komodo dragon. <laughs> we defeated a dragon. <laughs> yeah, with a belt. Uh. Huh? Huh? What is it? Uh. Huh? Uh. Uh. Told you the Komodo dragon was close to having Nasser for dinner. Uh. Why didn't you say anything? I was trying to. <sighs> oh, you sound like a Komodo dragon. <laughs> Komodo dragon, where?
How's your leg doing, Grandpa? Oh, not so bad. I uh, bet I might have to give up the rock climbing, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mansoor, I wonder if you could do me a favor. Listen, because it's very important, I need you to post this letter for me. I'd do it myself, but it's a long walk to the post office. No problem, Grandpa. It's only 12 p.m. I have lots of time to spare. May God bless you, my dear child. Bye. Mansoor! Hey, hey Mansoor! Hey there, guys! What's up? What's you up to? Not much. I'm doing a favor for my grandpa of delivering this letter for him. He says it's pretty urgent, apparently. Urgent? That's cool! It's kind of like you're going on a mission. You're posting a letter? Whoa! This could be so dangerous! <laughs> totally. Well, you know, not every adventure we go on has to be mysterious and wild. <laughs> We're here. We did it. The mission's almost accomplished. Huh? Why is the door locked? Oh, no. What are we going to do now? Oh. Look. It says here that the nearest post office is located downtown. It's the central post office building, and it closes at 2. It's downtown? We should get going. It's pretty far, and it's... 12.30. Calm down. We're right beside City Park. Yeah, yeah and? What I'm saying is, we can get to the other post office. It's on the other side of the park. And so, all we need to do is just cut across on foot. Piece of cake. And let's do it. Hmm. I wonder what's in that letter. Mm hmm. You know, I'm pretty sure your grandpa's a secret agent, Mansoor. It probably contains secret plans. He's not an agent, Obeyed. He's like 73. Sure, but maybe he's an old agent. He's probably a spy master by now. We're still good. Still an hour before the post office closes. This is turning into a real mission, don't you think? Yeah. I mean, who would have thought sending a letter off could be so adventurous? Oh! Ouch! <laughs> Wait! Hold on! Oh! Looks like there's a race going on. How are we gonna get across? Obey, hold on to this. There must be another way. I'll just check my GPS to see if there's any. Well played, Obeyed. Come on! Uh, hurry, hurry! Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> Hi there! Huh? Excuse me one moment! Uh, 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 Mansoor? What the? 114? Oh no! You grabbed the runner's number! Not the letter! Huh? Thanks and sorry! Good luck with the race! We've still got 40 minutes. Come on! <laughs> we made it! <laughs> Find
Finally! Nothing can stop us now! Seriously, who'd have thought a little letter could cause so much trouble? Huh? Oh. No! Oh. What is going on? another way to get in. There's no way we could get through the gates, but Nano could definitely go inside. Great idea, Obeyed. Greetings there, Mansoor. I've got a job for you, Nano. Seek and locate mode. Ready to comply. Hey there, boys. You look exhausted. Here, kiddos. Do you want some lemonade with mint? By the way, did you send my letter? Yes, I did, Grandpa. With help from Obeyed and Salem, and also Nano. Well, I hope it wasn't too much trouble. It was no trouble at all, Grandpa. <laughs> you see, I realized all I gave you was an empty envelope. I forgot I forgot to put the letter in. Forgive me. <laughs> what? But I thought that it was urgent and had to get there by tomorrow. It does. That's why I scanned it. I uh -huh. was able to email it instead to make it easier. Technology is amazing. Boys? Huh? 